students i am professor sanjay sawant from tssm purabai sawant college of engineering and research nare pune so dear friends today we will discuss about the one of the most important experiment from the engineering geology that is the logging of drill cores and interpretation of drilling data and with the representation of graphical representation of core log so what is the importance of drilling why we take core log samples so this core log samples or the importance of drilling is that to require safety and stability of the most of the civil engineering structures or most of the big project like dams bridges or tunnel for that purpose we have to analyze the quality of the rock and that's why we have to understand the rock quality designation or core recovery so let us move to the experiment you can see for the drilling purpose we have to use the such type of rotary drilling machine and with the help of this machine we brought such type of core sample from the subsurface and after that we have to collect such type of core log sample in the wooden box and we have to preserve the such type of core sample and with the help of this core log sample we have to calculate core recovery and rkd after the drilling we have to preserve the core sample in this wooden box and then we have to preserve core sample length wise in this box like 1.25 to 2 meter then 2 to 3 meter then 3 to 4 meter so these are the different types of uh, core samples which is preserved in the core box and after that with the help of this core log sample we have to calculate core recovery and rqd after the preservation of uh, preservation of core sample in the wooden box we have to measure the length according to piece wise so this is the actual length of the core run that is 3 to 6 meter and these are the number of pieces which we got from the logging uh, drilling after the drilling and then these are the length of pieces that is suppose this is the sample number 1 or piece number 1 and the length of piece number 1 that is in 10 cm so these are the length of pieces then second column is third column that is the nature of fracture as the lower end pieces so j j stand for joints and m stand for mechanical fra fracture after that we have to calculate total length of this core pieces so that is this is the total length of the core pieces and after that we have to find out we have to calculate the core recovery and rqd so how we can calculate the core recovery or the formula of the core recovery is total length of the rock recovered upon the total length of the core run into 100 now with the help of this formula we got the core recovery of this sample that is 99.33% then after the calculation of core recovery we have to calculate rqd rqd means rock quality designation and with the help of this rqd or the formula of the calculation of rqd that is the summation of the length of pieces greater than 10 cm divided by total length of the core run into 100 and after the calculation of rqd the rqd comes under uh, 91.30 33% and after the calculation of such type of rqd we have to compare the rqd with this standard chart so this is the quality rock quality and this is the rock quality designation percentage if the rqd comes less than 25% there should be presence quality of the rock that is completely weathered rock means it indicates that there should be presence of very poor rock if the rqd comes between 25 to 50% so there should be presence of weathered rock it indicates that there should be poor rock surface below the poor rock below the subsurface if the rqd comes 51 to 75 it indicates that there should be moderately weathered rock presence below the subsurface and it indicates fair rock quality designation if the rqd comes under 76 to 90% then there should be hard rock presence below the subsurface and quality of the rock is good if the rqd comes 91 to 100% 
there should be presence of fear fresh rock and the quality of rock is a very good so with this example we got the rqd that is 91 to 33% means there should be presence of fresh rock below the subsurface so what is the use of this practical so use of this practical is that it from civil engineering point of view we have to construct large project big project like dam or tunnel or bridges and for that purpose we have to evaluate rock quality designation below the subsurface means to require safety and stability of these structures we have to understand what are the quality of the rock present below the subsurface that the rock may be weathered fracture jointed or the rock may be very very good or good rock means if the rqd comes greater than 76% then we have to construct dam or bridge in that region and if the rqd comes less than 75% there should be poor rock surface rock present below the subsurface thank you